Hello everybody. What a day I've had. A huge, huge day. I've just, I've just got back. I've just been on a call, a Zoom call on the way home. My husband was driving because I've been a graft and I'll tell you about that in a second. And I had to get on a Zoom call for my new health and wellness business. So I'm in the car talking to people and I've got people in the back of my husband driving. And I'm like, yeah, this is awkward, not. But anyway, I've done it. I feel really good about it. So, but that's not why you're here. You're here to hear about all the things I've bought and all the rest of it. Well, I'm going to share some stuff with you in a second. But I'm going to talk about my horrible day. Horrible day. Um, it's an hour to Grafton, right? And that's where my sheds are, both of them. We had to take stuff to one shed and pick up stuff from that shed. And then we had to go to my other shed. No, he had to go to the dentist to get a tooth fixed, which is more filling than anything now. Um, and I went to the, sh to the op shop, one op shop, Spotlight, to get some wool for my knitting, my crocheting. And then I went to, back to the shed. That's when my stress started. One, my shed is so messy. Not messy, it's just, oh, yes, it's messy. Okay, I just read somewhere about how your room is is how your mind is. And I said to my husband, see? See my shed and my area where I sleep. See my dressing table. See that's that's my brain. That's exactly. It's all scrambled and messy. Anyway, um, so I'm in there and I've had to. I can't find some stuff. One thing I finally found took me ages. It was a fluke find. I've had to refund one, two, two items so far. Possibly another one, but I've got to next week to get them off. Three or four items I couldn't find. Like. It got to the point, my, I'm actually still recovering. My back, when I get really stressed, my back goes into like a spasm, like around the, just under the ribcage area. It goes into a spasm. So I've just been like, <sighs> had a few tears in the shed because it's so frustrating. Yes, the SKU system's great, but I'm sure not everyone has all the junk that I have. And I'm sure everyone's SKU system doesn't always work. Okay, and yes, when I get into a proper home, I'll probably have it set up better. But at this point of t in time, I can't maneuver anything. I can't put anything anywhere else. There's no space to do that. So I've had a refund. I was really stressed because one of the refunds I might have had to have had to have done was some jewelry, the bulk jewelry. But I fortunately found it in a box, and I've sent it today. But the other jewelry that I've got. I've got to send and the ladies love it she's fine to wait till next week I can find half of it I had half of it in the bus the other half it's disappeared and I've gone through all my boxes of jewelry all my wall hangings everything looking for this bag and I don't know where it is and I'm like I don't want to give $135 back <laughs> so um I've got a few more days to look for that and the other people were lovely when I told them look I'm sorry I can't find it I can either refund one said he's fine to wait um and what's annoying is that particular thing is the little clock that you saw yesterday and i only had it in my hand tuesday last week i did it i did the listing right i had it in my hand and i put it i swear i put it on the shelf no no it's not anywhere and i've lost all that you know those that silverware that i had showed you yesterday the goblets i have a tub apparently somewhere in that shed full of all those and i cannot find it just thinking about it is making my, my back tense up again. Stop thinking about it. So I'm going to share with you what I've got today. Well, I'm not really because in the back of the bus, back of the car, you can't even see. I got this great big bag of clothes at my favorite op shop because I did go there. Um, I got a city chick dress, which might go to my sister because it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. Um, and some lovely pants i should show but i'm not going to because i might i don't know but anyway i've got i've got all these clothes and all these big big pile of doilies were sitting on their shelf like big like you know the embroidered doilies yeah i grabbed all those and books i did it again a box of, i walked in there was a box of trixie belden books i don't know how many in the set there's a good 20 there i think because it was in a box about that by that so it's a box of Trixie Belden books, the paperback from the probably 70s, 80s, and some other books. So I did get books as well. And I'm sorry, but I will probably always buy books. I've got to not do that because one of the books I had to look for today, I couldn't find. But anyway, let's move on. Let's go to talk about something exciting other than my business. <laughs> uh, my other business. Uh, you know the story about having more than one income streams? Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. So anyway, I went and picked up some jewellery from my lady today. Um, she was it, this was in it as well. The poor darling, she was at work last week. I think it was last week, week before. And it was last week, that's right, because I think it was sometime. She dropped a huge, big 
uh, crystal like heavy chunk of crystal on her foot and she's damaged her foot so she had to wobble she told me to come upstairs and get the staff but she had to wobble she ended up wobbling down the steps and giving it to me but this was in the pot um in the stuff that she's i've got it's jewelry by the way jewelry um i don't know what's in it yet in the pot in the jewelry <laughs> i don't know what's in the box we don't know what's in the box yet because i can't remember because it's been a few weeks since i had a look so we've got this beautiful little box which is a lovely little box too um with stuff in it if i learn how to open the box what if i can't open the box oh yes we can so it's a little jewelry box with jewelry what a surprise so i'm going to show with show you guys it's not a great deal in there but we're going to see it one bit by bit and i'll show you what's in here oh it's another one i've got another one of these from her i think i got it from her recently so this is the second one i'll probably end up selling them together now it's two this is like a little agate it's agate in there there's no stamps on here i think it's just uh just like silver tone something um a hair clip which was very popular back in the day and this looks like might be avon but i'm not sure might not be but a little lovely little crystal amethyst um yeah probably on sterling i'd say let me have a look quickly yeah sterling and a cuff bangle which could possibly could be sterling but i don't know so that's all that's in the front in the top section there I've lost the necklace. So we're going to go to the bottom section and have a look to see if there's anything exciting in this lot. Okay, so let's go. I don't know if you can have a, put you down whether you're going to fall or not. Hang on, I'll get my, myself presentable before we do this. Let's see so you can see what I'm pulling out. Okay. No, nah, doesn't want to play the game, so we're not going to do it that way. We're going to have to do it looking at my ugly mug and go from there. We've got a probably um, the silver golf bangle. Now I've got those in gold before. This looks like a silver one. It probably is proper silver. Um, I'll have to check it. That year it is 925 right there. 925 little little spot just there. It's got 925. So that's good. Oh, I've got some stuff I want to show you too. Yeah, because I went to sell those, so I'll show you that as well in a minute. A little cameo. It's a little cameo, a neutral one. Pink, it's like it's glass type one. Um, we've got a little camel, if anyone's into camels. <laughs> we have watches, lots of watches. We've got lots of watches, so it looks like I'm going to be doing up a watch bundle. Watch bundles do quite well, guys. Um... I tend to keep a lot of my very vintage ones, especially the ladies' ones at the moment. But uh, yeah, they're, they're well worth if you're going to get some, especially for free. I've talked to you about it before. Definitely get them. I think that's all the watches there are. I thought there was more, but there's not. Oh, yeah, there's one more there. So, the watches. A Ducati badge. If anyone's into Ducatis. Um, possibly Sterling Ring. Possibly, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I'm editing. Get my face out of it. Apparently that helps. <laughs> there you go. Um, a little hair clip. Butterfly. A lot of this is probably junky jewelry. I think this is sterling. Possibly. I'll have to have a look at that later. Let you know. We've got some groovy little... They cufflinks. Oh, I think they are. They're cufflinks. Two of those. They're the same on both sides. Those double type cufflinks. But I don't mind. I've sold cufflinks before. They, they do okay. Um, another just a costume piece oh, ring. Has got a stamp in it, but I can't see it with my eyes. It's quite pretty. <sighs> Possibly... It's got someone's name on it, which is sad. Michaela Frey. Whether that, I don't think that's the maker. I think it's someone's name. Anyway, it's a lovely little, it looks like enameled pendant on chain. And the chain is stamped, but I can't see what it says. Vintage buttons, which I've spoken to you about before. They can sell for good money. Some of the old vintage buttons. You're still here or you run away because I know a lot of people run away. <laughs> There's a lot of little nicky nacky bits and pieces. 
nothing exciting. Uh, elephant, which I'll probably give to my daughter, her and her partner. When they went to Thailand and looked after, helped with the elephants, they're absolutely elephant mad. So I'll probably send that to my daughter. Um, very cute. Sterling silver, I think. Don't know if it is or not, but yeah. Even if she uses a key ring. But yeah, they're both elephant mad now. <clears throat> they didn't ride them because it's not nice to ride them. So they get upset when they see people riding them because they know um, the cruelty that goes with uh, teaching them to let you ride. But the elephant that they fall in love with the elephant that they had to they got to look after as in wash and feed and stuff i don't know that's this is may so is that a um town i don't know but it's a sword i always find meltdown stuff there's always stuff in here that's got something missing like a sterling silver or what so i usually put them in a meltdown i've got a meltdown bag meltdown one day i'm going to use it and melt it all down this is beautiful this little um it's a little mo looks like micro mosaics but it's i don't know if it was i think it was maybe once a brooch the brooch back is gone in it that is such so tiny too it's really pretty we've got lots of rings but they're all that costume you know the costume ones um uh, this one might be sterling i can't see at the moment you see that very clearly or not and we've got lots of little earrings which possibly could be gold i don't know another another ring I'll, I'll when i'm editing i'll let you know if, if anything is actually stamped or not because i need my glasses on or my little loop at the moment this is a sterling silver neck i've got so many sterling silver chains at the moment so there's another sterling sterling silver it's a belcher chain that one more cufflinks in here they're nice the little abalone mother of pearl whatever they call it um yeah <laughs> it's just it's such a mess in here it's lots of little trinkety things this one it has got this one's more modern and it's got yeah avon it's a shame because i could i would have sent that to the lady i had an avon set today and i saw it sent it already off i would have sent that to her as well with that and uh yeah i'd say there's a couple of chains gold chains in here another little pendant don't know if it's opening or not but yeah i don't think that's an expensive one that one doesn't look like much um really pretty brooch has a shell in it or opal opal bits uh sterling silver it looks like thick solid see that's all i'm talking about it just trying to see what it says on it 925 so it's a really nice solid sterling silver bracelet um this looks like sterling silver too there it is sterling silver bangle don't think this is sterling anything a bit gunky too that's just junk 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 jewelry from what i can see really cool jack daniels um buckle belt buckle they go on to sell quite well um this is a older pendant this is a really pretty one the clasp is unusual that's the clasp there i haven't seen a clasp like that well i have it i have but not for a long time um Oh, it's 1928, uh, 1920. It's a company called 1920 or something, I think. But it's a very, so it's done in very old sort of style. It's a very pretty one, that one. Um, nearly, nearly finished. It's a stretchy silver bangle. Hmm. Probably more for a man, not man, I suppose. So Mr. 18 probably like that. Um, a huge elephant clip paper clip <laughs> oh geez and that's about it and that oh there's a few little bits and pieces but nothing little tiny tiny pendant but there's nothing in here to, that's going to make me go ooh and ah i'd say that i'll be waiting for that for next week when i get all the extra jewelry that's coming hopefully next thursday uh, there's lots more um little cufflinks and stuff in here as well yeah so it wasn't a very exciting batch of stuff was it really but anyway it's done and i'm going to show you 
I'm back in a second. I've got to find my bag that I had in Salvo so I can show you what I got there. I've got a couple of nice little bits. I'll show you in a sec. So what happened was I was in a rush. I shouldn't have even gone in there because my time, oh my God, we, 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 kids. Okay, so when we were heading to Grafton, my grandson goes, oh, can you drop, can you pick up such and such from such and such? That's fine. Such and such wasn't exactly in such and such. They were further out and we had to wait and wait and wait and wait. And he's getting grumpy because we're getting grumpy. And I'd forgotten that we had the big, huge tub, big, huge tub and esky in the back of the car. So, because my husband said, oh, there's too much stuff in the car. I said, no, it's just my metal. I think it was just my metal detecting stuff. And then I realized it was all that. And I said, why couldn't you just say, instead of saying there's too much stuff, why couldn't you just say there was tubs in the car would have remembered? But anyway, the kids ended up nursing it all. It was just a pain in the neck. That caused a lot of my stress this morning too. So that sort of set me back time-wise. But anyway, so I probably shouldn't have gone to what I was trying to say in a roundabout way, the ADHD way. Um, was I shouldn't have gone to Salvo's at that time. I should have gone straight to my shed after I dropped my husband off. But I thought, well, I'll go now. He doesn't have to worry about waiting in the car, blah, blah, blah. And I was in there. And there was not much to find. I mean, I did get a few clothing bits. It's all I got, which I'm really happy with. I mean, you're paying $4 for an item that you might only wear twice. That's fine. Better than paying $50 for an item you only might wear twice. Um, so I went up. I was looking at the, the necklaces and I looked at the brooches. There was nothing there. <sighs> there was this. This here, right? This picture. And it said on it, $40 eBay sell, selling same for 100 And I'm going, what? What is it? So I got the lady to pull it out. There was a stamp on the thing. There was no maker's marks. It was just quite more looking like it was not my style. Put it that way. It might be your style. And she goes, oh, it's 18 carat. And I'm going, well, it might not be 18 carat because it could be the Chinese 18 carat because there's nothing. There was no, there was nothing on it I could see. Now, if, you, if you're telling me I'm wrong and I should have bought it for $40, go ahead. But I'm thinking to myself, if that's all that is 18 carat, that whole necklace and all the gold around it, and you're selling it for $40? And she's saying to me, oh, the lady in the back, she used to work in a jeweler. She knows how much they're all worth. And I'm going, but <laughs> I'm trying to say to her, but it could be just Chinese gold. Like, you know, how like to stamp it and all the rest. So if I'm wrong, guys, let me know. But I don't think I'm wrong. I left it there, 40 bucks, because they reckon if you've got an 18 carat piece of something like that, you're not going to go and put it in an op shop for 40, are you? Really? Like, maybe I missed out. I don't know what you think anyway so i left there and i was walking out and then this lady came out with a trolley with the jewelry on it and i'm like oh okay so i went over to see what she had she didn't have much I said, i'm actually only looking for like i'm looking for um brooches of vintage brooches of vintage stuff mostly she goes oh, i've got a tin of it out there so she brought the tin out for me which was great and i just noticed this one it's got a couple of stones missing which is a shame because they're quite an older one but fortunately for me i've got pieces I can fix and um, yeah so it's a safety chain so I can either fix this up or I can remove those stones and the chain and use the chain on something else that's got the chain missing uh, one or the other so I've got that this unusual brooch this really old pretty one none of them have got any makers marks this gorgeous um, cameo it's only plastic but it's really pretty a cameo a sterling silver ring for one of the girls and this um, unusual probably homemade brooch <laughs> I paid ten dollars for the lot guys so I haven't lost any money out here um, I actually thought that was it could be older than what I think it is but anyway that's all I got there so I thought I just want to share that with you because I don't know yeah, I just like to share with you. So that's it. I'm going to go now. Um, I'll probably do a quick photo of the stuff I've got in the back so you can see it all. I brought some work home with me. I bought, I've still got my bit of stuff upstairs. I've still got my cassettes I've got to go through upstairs. And that big green bag there, I've brought some clothes home to take photos of and measure and list this week. But I brought the books home too, which you'll see in a second. So I've got some stuff to work with. But yeah, I'm just a busy, busy person. Oh, we had offers on our house did I tell you that I might have told you I think I did yeah so I'm waiting to hear back hopefully in the next two to three weeks we'll have it sold and then I can start looking around at some place to see where we can buy land that's what I want to do just so I have a stability and not just um, be running around everywhere all the time okay 
I've enough waffling. I'm going. I'll send some photos, hopefully, at the end of this video. If you made it this far, well, say hello. I'm going to go. Bye. Okay. Decided not to do photos because photos don't always work. So I'm going to show you what I got here. There's a box. I didn't. I actually didn't even open it. I started getting books in this out of this one. And I got to about here. And I went, oh, I can't bother. So I just grabbed the whole bag. I don't even know what's in it. Lots of the uh, Monica McCurney. I know she was... McInerney, I don't know what her name is. Anyway, she is very popular. It's actually a whole heap of those, so that's good. I'll sell them as a bundle. But yeah, I think they're all hers. I know Maeve, Maeve is in there as well. Um, please don't tell me this is the one I just gave them recently. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> um, so I don't, yeah, there's a whole heap of books in there. I didn't even look to see what was in there. And then I got all these sort of books as well, which I thought were pretty cool. Guide to Happiness. I've got to read it. I've got to read it. Um, first we make the most beautiful I got these because they're really in really pretty good condition I didn't want to I'm checking to make sure they haven't got too much foxing on them anymore because I had too, got too many books that have got foxing the grown-ups guide to teenage humans oh oh yeah that'll be helpful um you know, these are good books to sell as well worst idea ever I have no clue what that's about uh, it's, a, it's a novel so is that one but yeah I don't know what I got but this is the box of this is all the um Trixie Belden, which is pretty cool. So yeah, these are gonna these are all sell. I'll I'll have these all listed hopefully in the next few days. <laughs> Fingers crossed, you know me. Say what I I'll, do, I'll get it done eventually, put it that way. It doesn't always happen straight away. Oh, this is a Nicole Ritchie book. There you go. Oh, I'll give that a read. Oh, this one is good, autism spectrum disorder. Got a great oh, son, my son my youngest son's got that. Oh he's got yeah. He's no, he's doing good. He's 28. He's doing really well with himself. Oh, anyway, this is the city chick dress. It's a beautiful colour. Like if that fit him, it's a wrap dress. I love wrap dresses. So I got that one. I got that one for me. And this is all the doilies and stuff. Like look at this beautiful fabric I got. I mean that could be made into so many good things because I do want to get back into sewing eventually. But look at all that. This is some really great bundles. And this is all my um, the doilies. Look at them. Hankies, I grabbed some hankies too. All these are, I think these are all serviettes. I'm not sure. But look at all these doilies I got. Doilies sell really well. So you can sell these all in a big bundle. But you also can make other clothes with it. Didn't really need those. I've got hundreds of those, but I grabbed them anyway. But look at them. I was really stoked. You don't see them like that. And you know, if this was in St. Vinnie's, they'd probably have them each up there for five bucks each or something. Ridiculous. But yeah, so that was all my doilies. Look at them all. Beautiful. And then there was more fabric. So a lot of this fabric I won't sell at this stage. I mean, I might. If I don't get into sewing, I might end up selling it. But this is all beautiful. I mean, this is gorgeous fabric. <laughs> I can't imagine that was very cheap fabric either, to be honest. There's more of it down there. And uh, then there was these pants. I don't even know what else is down there. Um, these are really cool pants. I don't think... I think they're homemade, but they've got a real funky, uh, hippie sort of... Yeah, 70s sort of style to them. So I grabbed those. And remember, this all only cost me 10. Well, it cost me 15, but it actually cost me 10 because I owed him some money from the other day and he stole 15 for the lot from the other day too. And I went, okay, that's, that's fine with me. And I've got these brand new pants. I don't know the brand, JL, Jane Lamerton, so I don't know who they are, who she is, but I ended up grabbing them because I knew it would be cheap. So, yeah, I'm really happy with what I got today. Oh, there's more fabric over there too. Um... But yeah, so all that for 15 or well, 10 because that wasn't the stuff for the other day. So $10 for all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.